Today's lesson is on humor and satire. What is it that makes things funny? One theory is called incongruity theory, and that states that humor happens when you're led to expect one thing, but then something different happens. Satire and humor sometimes overlap, but they are not the same thing. Although satire can be funny, what it really is is using satirical techniques to expose or criticize human behavior. So it's always trying to expose or criticize. The first satirical technique we'll talk about is called parody. In parody, the one creating satire parrots or mimics an original work like a song or a painting, but makes some changes and mocks the original painting or music or whatever it is. We're going to take a look at an original and then a parody of that original. Okay, here is an old, old love poem. This is The Bride by Edmund Spencer. And I'm going to read you this and then I'm going to go over a parody of this very same poem. So it goes, tell me, ye merchant's daughters, did you see so fair a creature in your town before? Her goodly eyes like sapphires shining bright, her forehead ivory white, her cheeks like apples which the sun hath rutted, her lips like cherries charming men to bite, her breast like to a bowl of cream uncrudded. Even though this may not match beauty standards of our day, this bride is super exaggerated in beauty standards of Edmund Spencer's day. So he just is describing the perfect woman according to their beauty standards. So this is a parody of The Bride by Edmund Spencer. It's called Sonnet 130. It says, My mistress's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done. If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked, red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And yet, by heaven, I think my love is rare, as any she belied with false compare. So in The Bride, Edmund Spencer listed all of the beautiful things he could think about and then described this woman who perfectly follows beauty standards of their time. William Shakespeare follows a similar format, but he's saying, actually, my woman doesn't look like all of these things that are expected, and yet I still think that she is beautiful and that our love is beyond compare. So in Sonnet 130, William Shakespeare mocks people's obsession with a one-size-fits-all set of beauty standards by mimicking but changing a poem that was written that suggests that there is one way for women to be beautiful and that that's why you would love them. Another satirical technique is caricature. Caricature is more commonly known in art, but it also applies to literature. It's the exaggeration of some features and oversimplification of others. The effect is that it should be funny and it's making fun of the person that is being caricatured. Here is a great example of literary caricature by Charles Dickens. Mr. Chad Band is a large yellow man with a fat smile and a general appearance of having a good deal of train oil in his system. Mrs. Chad Band is a stern, severe-looking, silent woman. These characters are really exaggerated and only a few features are mentioned, so those are really drawn out. Kind of like in an actual image, you would see the ears and nose are huge, everything else is kind of smaller. In literary caricature, you blow up certain features and then kind of shrink down the others. So it's exaggeration to make fun of this person. A place where you will always find satire is in political cartoons. A political cartoon is a drawing meant to convey ideas about politics or current events. This one from the 1800s is one of the most famous. It shows William Pitt, the British Prime Minister, and Napoleon Bonaparte uh, cutting up the world as if it is plum pudding and obviously taking a lot more for themselves than one might need. 
and it's showing that these big powers can really impact and tear apart the world in their greed. Just to summarize, humor is when someone expects one thing and something different happens. Satire is using humor and other techniques to make fun of something. Parody is imitating a style. Caricature is exaggerating a feature of a person. And political cartoons are drawings that try to draw attention to current events and politics. My name is Larissa Coe. Thanks for watching.